drinking in the mud today for the 32nd annual Mud Volleyball Tournament. Yeah. I got down and dirty to raise awareness for epilepsy. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell was in Middletown to catch all the action. Ankle deep in muddy water and face planting in muck, the conditions were ugly for volleyball. Your feet are completely stuck in the mud like you cannot walk okay, so whatsoever. Say. Yet for Devin Kramer and hundreds of others, they wouldn't have had it any other way. In fact, the overnight soaking from Mother Nature wasn't enough. Fire hoses were brought in to keep the courts submerged with water. That was fine, like, especially when you're diving for the ball. I mean, obviously, I dove for it a bunch of times. <laughs> yeah, so it's a lot of fun. With mud flying, it looked like they were trying to recreate Woodstock in Middletown, but these athletes were raising thousands for epilepsy, something that touches 60,000 Connecticut residents. I work at Piper Olson Veterinary Hospital, so we have a lot of neurology cases, so definitely animals, humans, everything. It's, it's good to bring awareness to that. Here at Zora Park, this was the 32nd gathering of mud volleyball players. Scott Brusick was here for all of them. In the first day, we had about half the amount of these courts here, and uh, we didn't have that. It wasn't as organized, meaning we, we didn't block it off. By now, teams know the drill. In order to keep your shoes from disappearing into a muddy abyss, they literally needed to be taped to your ankles. Trying to, like, rip your feet out and get that ball, it's, like, impossible. And instead of fighting to stay clean, the best approach is to embrace the mud. Before the game even started, I just slid in there, so it was a lot easier just to get that. It's like jumping in a pool. Nearly 150 teams competed, and only one could emerge champion. But with tens of thousands raised for epilepsy, players today don't mind. We didn't win, but we had spirit. <laughs> That's all that matters. From Middletown, Matthew Campbell, Chowderis News. On to your night in school.